Borussia Dortmund are a team transformed under new coach Lucien Favre. The Swiss, who took over in the summer after both Peter Bosch and Peter Stöger had failed to ignite the Westphalian giants, has turned the side into an ultra-efficient goal-scoring machine that is also extremely hard to score against. That, married with an astute approach to the transfer market and the renaissance of club favourite Marco Reus, has seen Favre's Borussia Dortmund make the early running in the Bundesliga race and become firm favourites to deny Bayern their seventh title in a row. Favre's 21 games in charge have yielded 15 wins and only one loss. While Peter Bosch started with a seven-game unbeaten run, scoring 21 goals and conceding only two, and Peter Stöger went unbeaten for 12 games, though that included six draws, Favre has created a unit that has scored in every match in the Bundesliga so far, except away against Hanover 96, and has kept six clean sheets. Favre has ignited Dortmund's attack and tightened up their defence. It's an apparently simple recipe for success that has gained Dortmund 2.38 points per game since the Swiss coach took over. But how has he achieved this? Favre, working with Dortmund's astute sporting director Michael Zork, secured several crucial players in the summer that addressed some of Dortmund's weaknesses. Axel Witzel has been one of the league's standout players this season, defensively excellent in providing cover to the back four and a strong creative presence from deep. Former Mainz man Abdou Diallo has excelled in defence alongside loan signing Ashraf Hakimi, while experienced Bundesliga midfielder Thomas Delaney has added steel. And then there's Paco Alcacer, whose phenomenal scoring rate and ability to make an impact from the bench has turned games in Dortmund's favour all season. Add to this the brilliance of Jadon Sancho and youth system product Jakob Brun Larsson, and there are a host of new players in the Dortmund squad who are delivering the goods. Favre has shown a greater degree of consistency in his team selections and formations than his two predecessors. Dortmund, despite playing more games under Favre than either Bosch or Stöger, have used only 23 players in the league this season. Bosch and Stöger both used 26. Tactically too, Favre is more settled. Stöger switched between a conservative 4-3-3 and the double pivot 4-2-3-1 and also tried a three at the back formation using wingbacks. Bosch's favoured attacking 4-3-3 was consistent at the start of his reign, but as results slipped, he too tried variations on a three-man backline to compensate for Dortmund's perceived defensive issues. Rather than try to change the formation to achieve solidity, Favre has instead settled on a more conservative style overall, which has made Dortmund far tougher at the back and simply worked on getting one approach absolutely right. This more conservative style has yielded the third best defensive record in the Bundesliga this season without compromising Dortmund's attacking ability. Witzel is key to this, acting as a screen to the back four, intercepting passes and thwarting opposition attacks. Dortmund are actually defending more passively than last season, pressing less in the opposition half. This gives the team more time to find a solid defensive structure, which looks like a 4-1-4-1 in the mid block. Dortmund are also adept at pressing intelligently when the ball does enter their half. Although the team allows the opposition more time on the ball than they did last season, their ability to cut off passing lanes, which forces their opponents to pass long, or to squeeze the play into the wide areas, means their strong and mobile defensive midfield and centre-backs can mop up much of what the opposition offers in terms of attacking threat. Even with such a strong defence, Dortmund have still found themselves behind this season, but this is one of the situations where Favre has not just improved Dortmund, he's setting the pace in the Bundesliga. Dortmund have come back from losing positions to win four times. Peter Stöger only managed it once, and Peter Bosch never guided Dortmund to a win having been behind in a match. In addition, Dortmund are superb at scoring after 60 minutes. 28 of their goals this season, or 52%, have come in the final third of games. It's a league-leading stat. Part of this has been the impact of Paco Alcacer off the bench, especially towards the beginning of the season, but it's also part of Favre's game plan to control matches, manage the match tempo, and then explode into life as the opposition tire while defending against Dortmund's careful, probing approach from deep, or quick breaks on the counter. This aspect of Dortmund's play is significantly different from last season too. Neither of Dortmund's managers last season saw as many late goals, and it's Favre's ability to set Dortmund up to control games and then strike against tiring opposition that has made the difference. 
As an attacking team though, Favre has also successfully built on what his predecessors did. The centre-backs still carry the ball forwards to break the opposition press, or pass accurately forwards towards the midfield or attacking line. The midfield double pivot sit deep, providing a safer passing option and their deeper starting position means that they can receive the ball and turn into space to play forwards with ease. Once the ball has been transitioned, Dortmund switch gears and attack with pace. In Sancho, Royce, Pulisic and Brun Larsson, Dortmund have intelligent, creative players who work well together, servicing in-form striker Alcacer. Royce is playing infield now, rather than on the left as he did last season and at the beginning of this one, and is Dortmund's top scorer and the Bundesliga's joint second most productive attacker. Only Bayern's Robert Lewandowski has more goals and assists combined. What's really noticeable is that Dortmund are now incredibly efficient when it comes to scoring. They create good chances, and their attacking play, especially against defences that are pulled out of position by Dortmund's movement, is excellent. But Favre is also famously good at creating attacks that score more goals than would be expected from the chances they create, and this is clear from Dortmund's attacking stats this season. Despite outscoring his predecessors game by game, Favre's Dortmund take fewer shots per game and convert their shots much more efficiently. Defensively more solid, able to control games and strike late, often snatching wins from losing positions, and with an almost unbelievable efficiency in front of goal, Lucien Favre's dominant Dortmund are much improved on last season. Crucially, the coach has integrated new players well, retained some aspects of Dortmund's play that did work last season, and added a resilience to go with the flair that the squad already possessed. It's a combination that has seen Lucien Favre transform Dortmund into the favourites for the Bundesliga title. Hey everyone. Hi guys. Don't leave us now. More than one million fans can't be wrong. Subscribe here. Subscribe now.